Hello, good morning everyone. May love shout out all the subscribers and followers of this channel. And if you are new to my channel, please. <laughs> Subscribe to like, share. Don't forget to ring the bell buttons for the next notification. Three like. Leave a comment, subscribe, four, subscribe, alright. Our lesson for today is how to construct pentagon and hexagon. And this is your performance task for this third quarter. So these are the materials needed in constructing pentagon and hexagon. So of course, we need a compass. Okay. So this is the picture of a compass. Then we have the protractor. Okay. So, of course, you know already the paper and you need the roller, although it's optional. Huh? So, you might need it to so just prepare. Okay, so here are the steps in constructing Pentagon. So, step one, draw a circle using compass with radius 10. So, draw a circle and then step two, a draw horizontal line from the center of the circle. So, this one, no? Then step three, measure its angle, uh, central angle uh, equals to 72 degrees. So because um, its angle of uh, uh, um, pentagon or is 72 degrees. Okay, so that's it. Then so you try to use the protractor. Then so in in measuring the angle, so you start from zero here, no? Zero to 72 like this, no? So here the X, so that means it's, it's from zero to 72 degrees. And then from ikot ulit, no? So ikotin lang ng ikotin until matapos na yung limang 72 degrees angle, okay? And so make, make a dot on a circle as you mark, okay? So like this, you make a dot, okay? And right, so then okay, okay, so ito na yung makikita nyo pag may dot na lahat, and then try to connect, okay, so ito yan, iko connect yung ganyan, no, be sure in center siya, then yan, you can find out the pentagon, so let's try, okay, so ito yung ano no. So, connect all the, the dots. So, katulad nung sabi ko kanina. So, yan lahat. At ito na po ang inyong uh, final product. Okay? So, um, just follow the instruction. Okay, so, here are the meaning of a regular pentagon, no? Regular pentagon is a five-sided polygon with five congruent sides and angles. So these are the properties of a regular pentagon. The interior angle is equal to 108 degrees. The sum of all interior angles is 550 degrees. The interior angle is equal to 72 degrees. And the sum of all the exterior angles is 360 degrees. The total number of diagonals is 5. Okay. Okay, so here are the steps in pentagon making. So, 
this is how to construct pentagon using ruler and compass. Step 1, draw horizontal line and a vertical lines. 2, draw a circle with radius of 2 inches using the intersection of 2 lines as your center. Do not uh, fold the compass after drawing a circle. And then, without regard, adjusting the compass, so please the, the point of a compass on a circle where it crosses the horizontal line. Now, draw arc on the previous circle. No. Then, now the center of compass intersection made from the bisector. Draw an arc from the top of the circle, then to, down to the horizontal line. Then, at the end of this step, do not use a compass. You will need the distance to make four arcs. So, putting the part of the compass at the top of the circle, then draw an arc from where the last arc intersects to the horizontal line of the circle. Now move around the circle using its arc as a center of the next arc. Okay, how I wish I have the picture and how to do it. And finally, draw line and its intersection to form a pentagon. Okay. Now, remember yung first part of the this ano, video, no? So, you just follow the steps. Okay? You will, will not go wrong. Okay, so they have now the hexagon. Okay? So, um, hexagon is a six-sided polygon with six congruent sides and angles. So, these are the properties of hexagon. The interior angles is equals to 120 degrees. The sum of all angles is equal to 720 degrees or the interior angles. The exterior angle is equal to 60 degrees. And the sum of all exterior angles is 360 degrees. And the total number of diagonals is a 9. So here are the steps in constructing an hexagon. So first, mark a dot, uh, no? place your compass on the dot and draw the circle with radius 1.5 degrees. So the bigger the circle, the bigger the hexagon. Okay, so like this. No? So you have to start from the dot and then form a circle. Using the central dot and protector, divide the circle into six parts. So a circle has 360, so 360 divided by 6, that is 60 degrees. So you should mark a dot every 60 degrees like this. Uh, you mark a dot, okay? And then to get a real right measurement, use a protractor, of course, like this, no? And then um, connect every adjacent or two consecutive points to form a hexagon, so like this. No, so you have to uh, connect all of it. No? Then, just like it, you have the uh, hexagon like this. So, or maybe uh, mas ma ano mas uh, sometimes they are, we, we are dealing with equals. So um, all of that. No, so the same length and the same side of angles. Okay. So for questions and clarifications, just write it at the comment section. Remember, gratitude is the best attitude. And before I go, please. One. Subscribe. Two. Like. Share. Don't forget to ring the bell buttons for the next notification. Three. Like. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Four. Subscribe. All right.
Okay, so it's April now. Uh, and maybe this is our last topic for the third quarter. This guy study hard for the um, assessment exam. Okay, and don't forget to do all the performances that's stated in your worksheets. And of course, I want to shout out all the real, uh, loyal friends no, from the Organic Barcadas, the Team YTC International, and the Team Solid family. Ma maraming dumating, maraming malis. So, but still, we are here. I love you all, guys, and to all my students and their parents. Thank you so much. And of course, uh, my family, I love you all. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye. See you again. Love you all.